Nina de Usman resumes and bounces back after a political hiatus. The recent appointment of Nina de Usman as head of 29 member committee, caretaker committee for Labour Party, has been met with mixed reaction. Although the Cardona chapter of Labour Party has rejected Usman as the national caretaker chairman, Others have welcomed the brand new head of the 29 member Kiatika Committee. The Labour Party on Friday sacked the national chairman of a party, Comrade Julius Abure, and others of the National Working Committee, NWC, and also the National Transitional Council of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, to fill the leadership vacuum. The party set up a 29-member caretaker committee with former finance minister, Senator Esther Nemadi Usman, as chairman and honorable Darlington Wokocha as secretary. The decision was the outcome of a duly constituted NEC and expanded stakeholders meeting hosted in Umaya by the governor of, governor of Abia State, Mr. Alex Oti, the party's only governor, as it is present as it is presently, Nenadi Esther Usman is the first woman to be appointed in such a big position on the national level. Usman, sitting as a national caretaker committee chairperson, is another plus for the women in politics. A few who have worked with Usman in other political positions, say she is a woman with positive action, a notion that would have been proved as time goes on, considering the Labour Party has been going through several crises, Usman may, may have a lot on her plate as the new head of committee. As it is usually said, most times, it is being expected to fail sometimes, comes out to do the best job. The players in the political sector may be looking closely at Usman to measure her performance from her first two moves. According to the communique, the caretaker committee should immediately ensure that the congresses of the old party were conducted at ward local government, states, and national levels as soon as possible. The caretaker committee would preside over the affairs of Labour Party in the next three months, within which new leaders would emerge from ward to national levels after the party congresses. Nenadi Usman, in her response, said the caretaker committee had been saddled with a big responsibility but she assured the party stakeholders and elders that the committee would work to put the Labour Party back to its proper footing. The caretaker committee chairman stated that the crisis in Labour Party had been repelling prospective members, saying people have not registered with Labour Party because of a problem that bedeviled the party. Nema de Esther Usman, born on 12 November 1966, is a Nigerian politician and former Federal Minister of Finance. She was elected Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, representing the Kaduna South Senatorial District in the April 2011 elections, running to the People's Democratic Party PDP platform. Usman has played a major role in women's empowerment as she had a pivotal role in the formation of an NGO called Education and Empowerment for Women with its headquarters at Jerry in Katuna State and she is the present chairperson of a coalition of NGOs for women development in Katuna State. She is married with four children. You always have your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think that Usman is ready for the tax ahead? Do you think that she can actually do the job adequately? What do you all think? 
despite her now being, you know, elected as the chairperson, Julius Aburi, on the other hand, is still saying that, you know, the Congress is not legal. You know, the Congress did not have the people that are supposed to be their delegates from uh, state level, the NWC and all of that. So that makes the Congress or the meeting an illegal one. And any decision made at the meeting will not be acceptable. Peter Obi, Alex Oti and the likes have insisted that this is what we want and this is what we are going to you know, follow up on. Before we go, guys, let's take a look at some of the reactions from people online. Ed Tim Sten says, she's tested and trusted. She will deliver. We former members of a party are solidly behind this development. Okay. Roti Mitaiwo says, the end of Labour Party is near. How can you make a non-member chairman of caretaker committee i don't think she's a non-member i think the argument was she joined newly during the last election that was the argue uh, the argument that she's not an old member it's not possible for them to to make somebody who is not a member of a party a chairperson i don't think that's possible but the fact that she joined during the last election she has she has not been a member of a party prior to then that I think that is what the bone of conduct, uh, contention is. Emeka Okpara says, A woman chairman, I'm hoping that women at least can support her to succeed. This is a make or mass situation for women. If she does well, it will be a cornerstone for women in leadership in Nigeria. Titus says, A virtuous woman. One major advantage I see in this is that, you know, because she's a woman, at least women are now be give, given a chance. And like like uh, this last comment has said, you know, her performance <laughs> would give, if she performs well, it will give other women a chance, you know, within the party to give them a shot within the party to show that women can do it. What a man can do, a woman can do better. But if she performs woefully, which means she has spoiled other people's chances, she has spoiled chances for other women who could have, you know, been given opportunity in different positions, which means her not performing well would <laughs> inadvertently destroy their chances. You all, what do you think? I would love to hear from you. Leave your opinions in the comment section. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.